This video will demonstrate installing the 6 server. Here on my desktop, I have a folder that I created called DTools 6 Trial. I'll double click that. And uh, this would be the file that you would have downloaded from DTools. Uh, it may say something different. It may even say 6 installer trial. And while this is showing the install of a trial, the trial is the full version. Uh, we just offer it in a download form. So when you purchase the software, you will receive a disk and you can certainly install from disk as well. Uh, when you insert the disk into your machine, it will automatically open um, the following file. Um, for now though, I'm gonna double click this executable and what will happen is it'll extract the files needed and then open up the DTOL 6 installer screen. And this is what you would automatically see if you had a disk in the drive. So uh, here you can see how to install 6. It'll take you out to our documentation site. We highly recommend you do that. Read through the considerations, especially when installing the 6 server. Um, so down here, um, install 6 server is an option. We'll go ahead and click that. And it will open up this wizard. Now, if um, prereqs are required, you will be prompted to install the prereqs. And um, they'll automatically install. You need an internet connection for this. It's going to uh, ping out to a DTOL server download uh, the prereqs, install those, and then this wizard will continue. Uh, in my case, I've got the prereqs already installed, so I'm just gonna click next. Um, you can read through the license agreement. You must scroll down in order to click I accept. Choose next. Um, although you can change the default location where this is installing, we don't recommend that, um, especially if you have any problems for troubleshooting purposes. Um, so we recommend you just leave that and go ahead and click install. And this will go ahead and install the DTOL 6 server. Now, there is another component involved in installing the uh, DTOL 6 server, and that would be the server configuration. So when you close this window, you may not automatically see the server configuration, depending on how many windows you have open. Uh, so I'll minimize this, minimize this, and back here you see the 6 server configuration wizard. And there are two options on here the express configuration or the custom configuration. We recommend the express configuration and we have other videos that will show you um, how to use both of these functions.